Well, I want to show you my seedling plants um, and the progress that they're making so far. I've got them in a bedroom. There's the bedspread, <laughs> uh, an unused bedroom. Um, I, I showed you planting the peppers. I've got four rows of peppers. Uh, one, two, three, four. And the fourth row did not come up at all. The first three rows are from House Tools. It's that heatless habanero. Well, you can see that under that light. Heatless habanero, King Arthur Bell, Mamma Mia Rosso, and then I've got the Marconi, which is a giant Marconi red, which we really, really like. And I'm just bummed out that none of them came up. Um, but I had, I've had that seed. I'm not don't. I got it off Amazon, I think, two or three years ago. So you know, the seed was older, but still, I expected. I think I planted two or three per hole. And I really expected some to come up, and nothing germinated at all. So a little bummed out about that. Might have to try to find some uh, some of the Marconis. I don't know, Lowe's or somewhere in a six pack, uh, because we really, really like those peppers. Big, big, nice roasting pepper, not hot. Uh, and I planted those, planted the peppers two weeks ago. Now, I planted the tomatoes, and these rest of these are tomatoes. Uh, let me go ahead and name those off for you. I've got a Tachi, T-A-C-H-I, which is a Roma uh, type tomato. I've got a pink brandywine, a red snapper, two rows of that. Really like the red snapper. We planted those last year. All those are for ha from Haas. Uh, the new Mountain Vineyard uh, tomato, which is a uh, cherry type tomato. And the Haas boys said this is the best tasting cherry they've ever had. So I got some uh, Mountain Vineyard cherry tomatoes. Some Florida 91, which is a new one for me. But they're supposed to do well in uh, hot temperatures, heat, uh, heat loving uh, tomatoes. So we're going to try them here in Texas. You know, when it starts getting hot, my tomatoes just just go. And uh, hopefully that Florida 91 will continue going uh, a little bit anyway. And then I've got the Bella Rosa. I think I've grown those before. Again, all the tomatoes are from Haas, uh, Haas Tools. Um, I'll have a link below to Haas, and they've uh, got an extensive seed catalog and just the best seeds I've ever found. Uh, let me show you what I'm doing. Well, let me, let me explain why I'm showing you this. Again, these were planted, the peppers were planted, one, two, three rows of peppers, planted um, two weeks ago. Actually, uh, 16 days ago, I think, 15, 16 days. And one week later, these started coming up, and then I went ahead, I, I got kind of concerned because I didn't want the peppers to outgrow the tomatoes, so I went ahead and planted the tomatoes. Well, and I, these last two rows I planted late. I planted those all oh, probably four or five days ago, and they're already, most of them up. My point is, if you're gonna plant tomatoes and peppers together, start your peppers at least one week early, if not two. These, as you can see, these tomatoes have overshadowed those peppers. Most of those tomatoes are an inch taller than the peppers, and they're one week younger than the peppers. The peppers were planted uh, two weeks ago, a little over two weeks ago. The tomatoes were planted about one week ago. So um, tomatoes are, the, the, the peppers are two weeks older than, than the, uh, one week older than the tomatoes. So I would, what I would suggest, what I would, what I will write down in my little uh, book is next year I'll plant the peppers two weeks before I plant the tomatoes because those tomatoes are just going to outgrow them big time. And I want the peppers, I'm probably going to take the peppers out of this flat. This is that oh, 162, I think they call it, 162 flat uh, of Haas tools. And I'm going to take the peppers out and transplant them into probably some four inch pots because peppers just don't, peppers just need a little extra time probably under the grow lights or in the greenhouse or wherever. They need a little bit more time uh, before they go into the ground. Um, the tomatoes, I think I can raise the, all the tomatoes here uh, in, this, in this 162. Pretty sure I can. That's what Haas does. They, they upsize their 
uh, peppers into larger pots and they go straight to the field with their tomatoes. But they're, they're going to have to be a lot bigger than this, but these will get six, eight inches tall. Right now they're three, three and a half. So they'll double in size and the, uh, the width of the, the stem will, will at least double. They get nice and fat. Uh, I've got this, there's Haas sells a tray that goes under these, fits these 162 and the 338, I believe it's called, the uh, smaller celled tray. This little tray here, uh, water tray, allows you to water from underneath. Now it just mix me up some, uh, some 2020-20 real, uh, not even half strength probably. Didn't want to give them a lot, uh, but I just mixed some of that up and hit them with that. So I expect them to go kind of crazy here. And, uh, but I wanted to also show my grow light. Now I've, got, <laughs> I've got it hanging from a ceiling fan. So maybe not the, the best place to do this. But again, I'm in a bedroom. Uh, you got to improvise. Uh, it's, this, this, this is the grow light I used last year. And I can't show you the light because it's just going to blind everybody. But it's really, it's got the full spectrum. Um, and I used it last year and it... It raised me some really, really nice uh, plants, seedlings. Uh, and and in the past, I've used, I've even done some videos on, I think maybe even a couple of videos on grow lights set up. And I was using just LED lights, the four foot uh, shop light. And, you know, it did okay. But when I went to this little dude last year, uh, man, I got a significant increase in success and and good plants and strong healthy plants so um get a grow light this one wasn't expensive 20 30 bucks maybe uh, maybe a little more than that um i'll put a link to the grow light below i've also got this heat mat down here there's a rug in the little short rug in the bedroom which means if i spill anything <laughs> if i spill anything in here the rug's going to absorb it before it hits these hardwood floors i hope and also, I won't be putting that heat, I'm not putting that heat mat directly on the hardwood floors because I think that might, I don't know whether that caused a problem or not. But anyway, uh, but I've got this heat mat over here. I had it set on uh, 80 degrees, got all these launched out, got all these germinated, except for the dadgum Marconis that nothing germinated. Um, and then I've got it turned down, uh, just in fact, just today, I turned it down to about 70 degrees, which means it'll... It won't hardly kick on at all. But um, once they get up, they don't need all that heat. Now, the, the, the peppers could use it. The peppers would kind of like it probably. But the tomatoes, um, the potato, tomatoes don't need it. In fact, it can be detrimental to give them, give them too much heat this early in their lifespan. So um, anyway, that's, that's, what I, that's what I've done. I've done some research and that's what my research showed. So I just want to show you this. Grow light is phenomenal. I'll put a link to that below. Heat mat uh, is phenomenal. It's the only way to go unless you're just going to set it beside, set your plants beside a wood stove or something like that. That's just about the only way to get these things germinated is to keep that heat up. And then um, I love my trays. Shoot, I love those house trays and, and the house seed. Again, that, that Marconi that didn't come up, that didn't come from house. That came from Probably Amazon or eBay a couple of three years ago. It was old seed and uh, just, anyway, just didn't come up. Everything from Hall's Dad Gum did. Uh, I planted some of these. I had a lot of seed and I planted two or three in per sale and I got two or three coming up. So I'm going to have to do some thinning. I'm not going to plant near this many tomatoes. So uh, I'll be giving some of these away. My neighbor has planted a few and whatever. He may give me some that he planted that I don't, varieties that I don't have. He loves the pink brandy wine. And I'll tell you right now, the pink brandy wine is the best tasting tomato um, I've ever tasted. And my neighbor, I told him about them last year. He grew some and he said, man, they are. And he's a, he's a master gardener. And he said that pink brandy wine was the best tasting tomato he's ever grown. Now they're not, they don't go crazy. They don't, they're not like the red snappers and some of these other ones that really put out and put out and put out. Heirlooms are good. And pink brandy wine is an heirloom, but don't plant just heirlooms if you really want a good production. If you want to do a lot of canning and stuff like that. Cause I, I just think, 
unless you're, you know, maybe you're in a different climate than than I am, but they're just going to disappoint. So, um, so I plant the pink brownie wine for taste, and I plant the rest of them for canning and and uh, giving away. She, we give away a lot of stuff. Um, I probably need to raise this light up. I noticed some of these things are stretching out sideways toward the light, and so I need to raise the light up some. It's supposed to cover about a a two foot area, I think. It's got some baling baling twine up there holding it from the <laughs> holding it from the ceiling fan. Brother got to do what the brother got to do, right? All right, uh, ceilings are up. Ceilings are doing great. Tomatoes have caught and and passed in a week have passed the two-week-old peppers. So plant accordingly. Plant your peppers first. A week, maybe two weeks. I'm going to go two weeks next year. And and then plant your tomatoes and such. So here we go. We got all sorts of stuff growing in the bedroom, much to my wife's joy. <laughs> well, let's just put it that way. All right. And that's it. We're gone.